Yo, what is going on guys, it's Sizer here and welcome back to a new video. Now this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to deploy your Windows computer and make it just faster in general and also some Fortnite tips and tricks to help you get faster FPS. Now my channel is completely dedicated to FPS boosts and shit like that so if you guys want to know more then subscribe to my channel or maybe watch my previous videos. So yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, so what you want to go ahead and do for the first tip is this is not a Fortnite tip, this is more of an extra tip that I kind of found out the other day. <clears throat> so yeah, what you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and click on your um, Windows key here. You can right click and you might find Windows PowerShell Admin. If it sits there, you click it. But if you don't have it then, then, all you have to do is look up Windows PowerShell. And then once it's here, you want to just click Run as Administrator. Click Yes, and then once it's opened, you'll see it's brought up this. Now you want to just copy in what I put in the description and click Enter. And click Enter. Now I'll give you this a second and it will basically bring up this. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and first of all make sure you want to remove all bloatware. Now just follow along with what I do because I know some of you are probably going to click off now but it's very important to follow through with uh, this so you get the best performance possible. Okay so this actually does take a little while but just give it a little while because it does actually improve your performance a lot so yeah. Now if it goes ahead and opens up this, just leave it because it's just disabling everything in here that needs to be disabled so you can just minimise that. And as you can see it's unpinning shit and doing whatever. And then once it says finished all tasks, you can go ahead and do the next one. So the next one is going to be obviously disabling Cortana, she's really annoying so just click disable. And then now do stop edge PDF takeover and there you go, it's already done. Now the next thing you want to do is uninstall OneDrive, I've already done this so I'll come up with an error but just click that. Now the next thing you want to do is remove bloatware reg keys, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Alright guys, so once that's finished and it says additional bloatware keys have been removed, go ahead and enable or disable dark mode, it's up to you, but in my opinion I think enable dark mode does give you extra FPS. Now the next thing you want to do is disable telemetry tasks, just go ahead and click that and it shouldn't take that long, it should only take about 20 seconds or so. Once it's done, as you can see telemetry has been disabled, so yeah, once you've done that, go ahead and follow along with the next tip. Alright guys, so once you've actually done this, you can go ahead and close out of it and close out of Windows PowerShell. Now what you want to go ahead and do is go into the description and download the Windows Update Blocker. Now it should go ahead and bring you to this website here. What this website is, is you just need to scroll down to the bottom here until it says download and just click the download button. Now you don't actually need to uh, extract it or anything, you can literally just open it from the WinRAR. So here you go, I've actually got it here, as you can see, um, Windows Update blocker and you want to go ahead and just run it from here click yes and once you've done that just click apply now and disable updates so just click apply now screen should refresh and yeah once you've done that go ahead and click x out of this okay now we're going to be going on to the fortnite settings and fps boost for this so the the main thing you want to do on fortnite is make sure you're playing on full screen to get the lowest amount of um delay i guess and make sure you do not have your game on 100% resolution. As you can see here, I'm running about 190, 200 FPS in the lobby. And if you turn it down to 89%, look at my FPS now. Well, it's the same, but I can assure you guys, literally, if I stop recording, I will get about probably 260 FPS. I'll, I'll probably I'll stop recording and, and use my in-game overlay to record real quick so you can you guys can see. Alright, so yeah, you pretty much will get a really good FPS increase from this. It's not a lot, but it is quite good because it does make sure that you are getting the best performance. Now, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and open Google, Discord, and if you have it, Spotify or SoundCloud. Now, I don't have Spotify and SoundCloud because I use SoundCloud on my Google. But basically, what you guys want to do is when your Google opens, you want to go ahead and go to these little three dots at the top, click settings, and then you want to go all the way down to advanced, and then turn this off here use hardware acceleration when available and then just click relaunch once you've done that you want to go ahead and as you can see it's a relaunch so you're going to just click x now i'm going to wait for my discord to open so yeah so as you can see guys my discord is currently starting uh, it's opened on my second monitor so let's give it a second to load there we go it's loading up now and there we go right so what you want to do is straight when discord is left if it's going to let me move it there you go, oh, come on move, oh, fuck, alright there you go, so once you're on discord you want to go ahead and go down to user settings, now what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and go to appearance, now at the bottom here it's going to say hardware acceleration, go ahead and turn this off and once you've done that, should be okay, 
so yeah just click off and click X and also remember to close it in, in the background if you're not using it alright so that's been me guys if you have enjoyed this video and you need and you want to subscribe feel free to subscribe in the description below just click red button it's not that hard to like the video if it helped you out as well pretty simple but yeah basically I'm on the way to 200 320 subscribers so if you guys want to be uh, here before 320 then go ahead and subscribe I mean it's up to you I mean I'm not forcing anyone but go ahead and if you want and also one last tip this is a bonus by the way timer fucking resolution if you've got it and you've got a 60 hertz monitor this is a hundred percent worth your download uh, if it's even on my computer uh, it's not even fucking oh, I don't even know I have got it on my computer but I don't know where it is basically if you've got time resolution you can go ahead and download that it's it's just it's pretty simple to use just click maximum and then you can just click the little minimize button and leave it in the background to run Fortnite. but yeah if you guys have enjoyed this <coughs> FPS boost video oh I just choked the west bit if you guys enjoyed this um, FPS boost video subscribe like and uh, see you later boys but goodbye